But we have to ask, being who we are, um, about your accounting and finance function. How do you <laughs> how do you actually do that, and and maybe how has it evolved over time with your yeah business? yeah that's that's a great that's a good question. Um, so we we use we use QuickBooks. Uh, we do our books on a cash basis. If I, I mean. <laughs> Um, we do have an accounting firm that, that helps us with um, some of our planning and tax prep, um, but we do all of our bookkeeping in-house um, currently still. Um, and I'd say probably some of the biggest changes that we've made. Um, so at the beginning, and uh, again, when like Dan came on, my operations uh, director, you know, it was pretty basic in our reporting. We looked at maybe a P&L. And that's about it. And since then, we have we've really invested into a lot um, of forecasting. Um, we do a lot more planning. We look at our cash flow at a much more deeper level. Um, and all of those things have allowed us to maybe sidestep a pothole here or there, um, and has uh, re, you know really helped us reduce some of the potential problems we had with cash flow um, in the past. And it, it's, he, he single-handedly has taken a business where we were, you know, we were surviving, but we were like paycheck to paycheck, as I like to say, as a business to where we're able to um, really be in a really great place financially today. Well, maybe not today, but prior coming to into COVID-19 that has allowed us to like survive in the first two months so far. Um, and without, without those right practices, forecasting and modeling that we had, like we wouldn't, we would have like many other businesses had to shut down, um, or make massive employee reductions, um, which, you know, I've seen a lot of my friends having to do, unfortunately. Yeah, I think that's, I, I really appreciate kind of some of the detail and, and, in that discussion because um, that's what we've seen in terms of our contacts is that companies that we are, we're already doing forecasting and modeling, we're in a good place to um, jump in and revise those or do some additional planning related to the COVID-19 crisis. And others, others who maybe didn't have a process for doing that, it's kind of a, it's, just that much more effort, right? Because now you you feel like you need to do it, but you're having to start from scratch because you've never done it before. So yeah, I think it's um, I think that's a great call out for for businesses that you know have if you have this in place, it it did make it easier for a lot of businesses to jump in and and do planning with a little more confidence right away. Um, and it helped make it like our PPP applications and grants that we've had a, like all that was much easier than if we had to recreate all that uh, on the fly. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. I think one of the, uh, another follow-up question I have for you on this is that having been through that, that journey, what, what do we often see or what I often see is that um, companies don't usually start right out of the gate with doing a lot of cash flow planning and, and modeling. They get to a certain point in their business where they realize, oh, okay, it's, it's, we need to start doing this. And, and so that's the typical kind of learning curve in terms of, of that, that, that we, that I've seen. Um, is there, if you were advising other businesses on this point, um, is there a point of time or, or how do you see it? At what point should a business start kind of really doing their cash flow planning and modeling in the way that, that you do now? Yeah, I would say, um, if you can, don't wait for the oh shit moment. Because <laughs> um, that's really what, where we landed is we're, we, we had, you know, we, we had the oh shit moment and then, okay, we recovered from that, but now let's make sure that never happens again. <laughs> right. Um, and I think COVID-19 is going to be the oh shit moment for, and I, I hope that we can say shit on this, but... <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Yeah. You have to edit that out. Yeah. Um, but, uh, and it's going to be the moment for many businesses. And I think that for the ones that survive, they're going to fully see that they need to make changes to their practices um, for the future so that when the next, you know, COVID housing crisis, whatever it is hits, right? Because these, they're all cycles. It's not an if this is going to happen again, it's a when you're in a much better and safer protected place so that hopefully a business can continue to operate. Um,
the businesses that make it out of this are going to have less competition. <laughs> They're going to, yeah. because there are org organizations that are closing that are shut down. Um, we've had some of our, some of our partners have had to close, like go bankrupt because of this, which is a, it's terrible. I mean, I, I feel, uh, terrible about it. Um, but it was just the bad timing, uh, in terms of where they were at financially when all of this started. So, um, do it sooner than you think you need to. And it's a, it's a worthy investment, um, to, to make. <laughs>